Hey there, hi there, ho there, it's Jeff Cutter Diary welcoming you to the American um, fight card for today, the 4th of July. And we're live from Crosley Field, which was randomly selected. So Crosley Field hosting this fight with six fights, the most we can have, and some very interesting matchups, especially the final few. So based off of ratings, I went with this. Of course, China Belt, you can have any weight division fight, any weight division, go pound for pound, whereas Legends Boxing doesn't do that. So that's fight. We will view all these fights, all Americans. First one, we have Harry Greb, middleweight against the welterweight Henry Armstrong. We have Bill Delaney and Ignacio Bernstein, your trainers. Joe Humphreys, your announcer. Jordan Bloggs, your ring guard girl. Lou Murray, your referee, with Russell Naquin. Casulo Abe and Octavio Rodriguez, your judges. Rocco Del Sesto is your ringside expert. Harry Greb, the Pittsburgh windmill, as they call him, from 1894 to 1926. He only was 32 when he died. Yikes. His career ended in 1926 when he died. So it was 5'8", 166. Biography, 260, 20, and 18. He was the world middleweight champion. Harry Greb was. And beat some very interesting fighters. Byerly Levinsky, Billy Misk, uh, Jack Dillon, Gene Tunney, Tommy Gibbons, Ken Norfolk, Jimmy Delaney, Mickey Walker, Maxi Rosenblum, Jimmy Slattery, Tiger Flowers, among others. Well, there's Henry Armstrong, the Hurricane Hank, as they call him, from St. Louis, Missouri, 1912 to 1988. So he was 76, 5'5", five, five, and 135 pounds today. 149, 21, and 10, the world welterweight, lightweight, and featherweight champion of the world. And an international boxing hall of fame in 1990. So this will be our first fight. <laughs>
decision. Russell Naquin says one fifteen one fourteen. Oops, so it's a unanimous decision. Abe Sun says one fifteen one fourteen. I think it might be Grant. But the way that the unofficial scoring was, Octavio Rodriguez says 151.44. Henry Armstrong. Ah, interesting. Henry Armstrong with the win. Punching accuracy, grab Pat Armstrong. I need a, a show score cards. Yeah. I think they all picked the same rounds, didn't they? Yes, they did. So everyone picked the thing. There were no scoring differences because I see 30s and 27s, so 10s and 9s. So they all agreed that the 5th, 7th, 9th, 10th, and 12th rounds went to Greg, and the Armstrong had the first three rounds in 6, 8, 11, so hmm, okay, whatever. Alright, so now we have Mickey Walker, middleweight against a light heavyweight young Stribling. A couple of old-time fighters. Uh, Lawrence Cole, your referee. Jake Gutierrez, your announcer. Doris Staney, your ring girl. Richard Flaherty, your Robert Tapper and Donnie Jessup, your judges. Romy Alvarez, your ringside expert. Mickey the Toy Bulldog Walker, 1901-1981, for Lisbon, New Jersey, 80 years old. 5'7", about 160, I say. 131-25-5, world middle weight and welterweight champion. Defeated Maxi Rosenblum and the others. Paulo Yoshidon, King Lefensky, Leo Lomsky, Tiger Flowers, Lou Tendler. Yeah. And then you got Young Stribling, the king of the cane breaks. It was only 29 when he died. Wow. Dude was 29 when he died. So young, 6'1", 171. 255, 15, and 17. World late heavyweight champion. Inducted to the Hall of Fame. Second in knockout wins to Archie Moore. Young Stribling being Maxi Rosenblum, Primo Carrera, Bella Lefensky, Jimmy Slattery, Jimmy Delaney. Mike McTeague, among others. So, a couple of old timers. <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen, we have your decision. We'll see. Ladies and gentlemen, right to your decision. Richard Flaherty, U.S. score spell 115, 113. Robert Topper of Canada, score spell 116, 112. And Donnie Jessup, score spell 115, 134. Mickey, the Toy Bulldog, Walker. Was that the right decision? Hmm. Look at the punching accuracy for Neil Sherpling. I guess I didn't really take that into account, really. Yeah, but Young Sterling. We had a few for them. Now for the big matches. Archie Ward, the great light heavyweight against the junior middleweight Sugar Ray Leonard. Don House and Augie Shmira, your trainers. Ed Darien, your announcer. Doris Danny, back to Ring Card Girl. Pete Papronsky, your referee. Miguel Acuna, Rodolfo Hill, and Juan Carlos Palmieri, your judges. Jim Trenzel, your inside expert. Archie Ward, the Mud Goose. Or 1913 died 1988, so he was 85 when he died. Benoit, Mississippi. 185, 23, and 10. World light heavyweight champion. He beat Yvonne Durrell, the great match in Montreal. Uh, Bobo Olson. Bob Baker, Joey Maxim. Antonio Alberto Santiago Lavelle. Jimmy Bivens, Oakland Billy Smith. For the towel, the Alabama kit, the Coco kit, Holman Williams, Freddie Dixon, good number, and Sugar Ray from Maryland, 1956, it was worn, 5'10", about 158, 36-3-1, the Walter, welterweight, a light middleweight championship, a super middleweight, a light heavyweight championship, and a super middleweight. Other than that, he's a legend. <laughs>
So Sugar Ray in the 12th round, I think he would have won. I think Archie Moore would have won. Scorecards. Yeah, the scorecards had basically been your never decision for Archie Moore, but Sugar Ray TKO'd him. So that was a giant TKO by Sugar Ray. Who wins the match? Now we have Rocky Marciona and Benny Leonard battling each other, heavyweight versus lightweight. Uh, Jim Fitzgerald, your announcer, Jordan Block, Wayne Card Girl, Wayne Kelly, your referee, Sylvain LeBlanc, John Wilson, and Glenn Feldman, your judges, Ray pa Roy Paddock. Wayne Paddock, but Rocky Marciano, the Brockton Block Monster from Brockton, Massachusetts, was only 46 when he died. I think he died in the plane crash, right? I think he did. Man, holy smokesies. From Brockton, 510, 188. 49 and Donut. Yep, he was that good. Benny Leonard, the Ghetto Wizard from New York, 1896 to 1947. 5 5 Rocky Marciano one punch us all. Now the second last fight, Joe Lewis versus Mike Tyson. You knew that was gonna happen. I thought about it, but I'm like, I'll put Tyson in the main the co main event. Okay, Florida or Coyar or your trainers. Frank Shane, your announcer, Ariana Celeste, your ring card girl, Arthur Marcade, your referee, Philippe Faberg, Malfina, Lathan, and Gary. Kambanechi, your judges, Marco Mirsara, your ringside expert, Joe Louis, the Brown Bobber from Alabama, 1914-1981, icon in the fighting world, 6'2", 205 pounds for this fight, 69-3, and three, the world heavyweight champion, who actually won from Max Schmelly, Mike Tyson, Iron Mike from the Catskills. Brooklyn, born 1966, still alive to this day. So, yeah, he's still alive. 5'10", 228 for this fight. 56 and 2. Heavyweight champion, the youngest battle, battle of the custom model, is great trainer. Jeff Benich, manager Jim Jacobs. All of that. Kevin Rooney was his great trainer. And then he freaking fired him for some stone region and housed himself with thugs. He beat Mitch Blood Green, Trevor Burbeck, James Bonecrusher Smith, Larry Holmes, Tony Tucker, Tyrone Biggs, Michael Spinks, Frank Bruno, Carla True Williams, Alex Stewart, Donovan Razor Ruddick, Bruce Elliott, Francois Bubba, among others. Ah, whatever. <laughs>
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your decision. They changed the statistics. Yes. Ah. For the perfect Belgium scores at 115-112. Oops. Well, someone had a unanimous decision. Lathan said it's 114-113. Maybe. I think it's got to be for Ben Bonner. Gary Cobb, let's see. 114-134. Joe Lewis. By unanimous decision. Wolf had a knockdown against each other. I think maybe they made the right decision, right? Scorecards, 343, 338. Yeah, they had Tyson 2, 3, 4, 8, and 11. But I think that knock... I'll be honest with you. I think that knockdown actually cost a tie. Because let's let's figure it out. If it's a 10-9 fight around like normal without the knockdown, for Bank would have still had it 115-113 over Tyson. However... Lathan and Caminichis, their cards would have been 114, 114. It would have been a majority draw. Yeah, it would have been a majority draw. If it was a 10 9 round. Yeah, it would have been a majority draw for Tyson. And now the big match Sugar Ray Robinson and Muhammad Ali, the two greatest players by rating in this game. Jeff Benish and it's T. Julissa Cottle are your trainers. Michael Buffer, your announcer. Much need at Michael Buffer. With Lou Murray, your referee. Hilton Whitaker, John Parrish, and George Smith, your judges. Janet Blocks, your ringside girl. Chris Munn, your ringside expert. Sugar Ray Robinson from Georgia by way of Harlem, 1921 to 1989-511-160. 173, 19, and 6. He was the middleweight and welterweight champion of the world. And Muhammad Ali, the legend, the greatest, as they call him, from Louisville, Kentucky. He was still alive at the, at the same going on. So, obviously, we, don't, we know he's dead. 6'3", 225. 56 and 5. Winning all those heavyweight belts. And regaining it. <laughs>
Vaughn. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your decision. But it's a KO by Muhammad Ali. He is the greatest. And he just proved it by KOing Sugar Ray Robinson. Big knockouts. So Ali does his job punching wise. Yeah, he knocked down Robinson twice. Sugar Ray was on Dream Street, if you will. So, yeah, I think it was well thought of. And, you know, America the pop. The pride of America. And Muhammad Ali did not disappoint. Anyway, thanks for watching this entire card. Friends will be next in 10 days' time. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.